practice a psychological trick to be fearless under pressure. There's four steps and the first one is to actually be dangerous yourself. And there's two, two parts to this. One is to be physically fit, to be strong, to be capable if anything ever comes up. And the second is to be confident in your amount of knowledge on a subject. Or for instance, at work, be confident in how much you know about the company. Second is that once the thing comes that triggers your fear, it's to take a deep breath and try to stay calm. The reality is in our modern world is there's not that many things that are actually gonna harm and kill us. And so we need to be able to tell ourselves this and relax. The third is that you're not gonna use emotions and you're gonna focus on strategy instead. When this fear comes up, if you make a decision through the fear or the emotion, it'll likely be the incorrect one. Save emotion for the power of manifesting and all these other type of things and enjoyment of life. And when you're making hard decisions, focus on strategy and logic. The fourth part is the most important, and it's when the thing comes up, it's to be non-reactive. The way to do this is to understand when things come up and you end up starting to get defensive, become self-aware about why you're being defensive, right? Once you unpack these things, next time it comes up, you'll be able to be like, nope, that's fine. That's just their judgment or their projection. And I know how I actually feel about that issue. If you can be non-reactive in situations and understand that most situations aren't going to impact you in next month, next year, 10 years, right? Or even sometimes the next day. And so if you can understand that going into situations and be non-reactive, you won't let fear get the best of you.